Hello everybody and welcome. After looking around on YouTube for a while uh, trying to find some procedure to set up the Panasonic EVA 1 and the uh, Atomos Shogun Inferno to record slow motion, I was uh, hard pressed to find anything as far as the uh, exact step-by-step -step procedure. I want to thank Nicholas Moldenhauer from the Panasonic AU EVA1 user group on Facebook. Uh, he was very helpful in explaining to me the step-by-step -step procedure. I just thought that I would go ahead and uh, put that on video here for, for the world to see if they needed it. So basically, I've already set up this unit to do the slow-mo, but I'm going to go back through the procedure and show you basically how to do it. I'm assuming you know where your menu button is, so click that. Obviously, first thing that comes up is the system settings, so on your scroll wheel, push in and select that and then go into system mode. I've set mine to 2398, being here in the States, but the most important thing here is to set your SDI RAW to the crop and mix 2K to get the full 240 frames per second. I believe in the crop 4K, you can go as high as 120 frames. And uh, of course in uh, Super 35 5.7K, I believe 60. Uh, but I wanted to see what the 240 frames per second looked like. So I chose crop and mix 2K. Let's exit out until we get to where we can see camera settings. Scroll down to that, click in. On um, the frames per second, you need to turn that on if it is not already so. You have the choice of uh, turning that off just in case later uh, when you're filming in, in real time. You don't want to hit a button or a user button that would automatically switch you into a high frame rate mode. Uh, you, could, you could leave that off. But here, we have to turn that on. So click that in. So here you can set your value of uh, your frame rate if you choose to. I'm going to show you in a few minutes how to do that from the uh, home button though. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that, uh, set that up to 240 and press again. And then we're going to uh, exit out of this menu. So, as we want to go up to our Atomos here, and uh, at the SDI RAW button there, uh, touch screen. It's got the source as the SDI 2K DCI at uh, P239.76. That's close to 240 frames per second as it will get. The Panasonic uh, is set, uh, it's set here to Panasonic so that the trigger of the camera actually triggers the recording of the Shogun. You probably already know that. And then it will record a 2K DCI P at a system rate of 2398. Doesn't look like it makes sense, but that's the way it is, and it works. Your SDI multi-link should be at single, if not already there. So, we then can click over to this part of it and look at our codec, which is ProRes RAW and the quality of ProRes RAW HQ. You can select this to be just RAW, but I always go for the highest possible quality that I can get, granted that I have a disk space for it and then we are pretty much good to go. I want to show you real quickly how uh, you can change the frame rate in the viewfinder. So if you click your home button, it's going to bring up this little on-screen menu. If you click 240, we can click it again. You can either use these buttons, which I don't particularly care for, or you can use the scroll wheel on the side of the camera. So, since we are in the uh, crop mix mode for the sensor, we can do the 240 here. You can press that uh, set, although that didn't do it, I'm gonna press in my scroll wheel and set that to 240. You can also turn your VFR variable frame rate on or off at this point and or exit the screen, which if we scroll you can see where you can choose that to be off or on. I'm just going to go to exit and click again and click my home button. We're back out. So we can now 
I'm going to hit the record button on the Panasonic. You see the red line? I'm going to put my hand here in front of it, move it back and forth, and then hit stop. We can uh, touch play on our Atomos here, and then takes it a second to come up. It automatically starts playing. And if I move this little scroller over a little bit to that side, we can see some nice slow-mo pictures of my hand. Not too interesting, but you get the idea. Anyway, that's a quick guide on how to set up your Panasonic EVA 1 and the Atomo Shogun Inferno to record a full 240 frames a second. Beautiful slow-mo. Thank you for watching and happy slow-mo recording. Bye.